Hello fellow Trekkies and welcome back. All the week's Trek headlines coming at you in 3, 2, 1. Alex Kurtzman says there is an infinite number of Star Trek stories to tell, but new stories must be authentic. William Shatner spoke out about the possibility of revisiting Kirk in a new interview with the Canadian Post to promote his new documentary, You Can Call Me Bill. He said it intrigued him to think about reprising the role of Kirk, but he wouldn't want to come back for a brief cameo that didn't have a well-written reason behind it. Q Jr. has an awesome new role in the Star Trek universe, one that improves on his father's work. In the new miniseries, Sons of Trek, Q Jr. has sent Jake Sisko, Alexander Rajenko, and Nog to an alternate universe. In issue two, the trio work to return to their own reality. Q Jr. explains why he is subjecting them to this treatment, hinting at his new role. Star Trek Discovery's Michelle Yeoh receives the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Toronto stage used for Discovery is renamed the Star Trek stage by Pinewood Studios. Episode 6 of Star Trek Discovery Season 5 Whistlespeak felt like a classic TNG episode. It had many easter eggs, callbacks and most importantly a good story. There was one point in the episode that had me a little confused but it turned out to be a very minor one and led to another excellent story beat. And now over to Trek Gaming News. Star Trek Fleet Command has announced their new Commander Academy for players Ops. 3 to 15. With this, you can earn valuable rewards for three, including the legendary Captain Gorkon and more. A new faction event has been announced in Star Trek Timelines, featuring Projector Spock, Vineyard Boimler, Prince Billips, and Jen. This is the last event for the current mega event, Interstellar Irreverence. The Lower Decks game has announced their latest event, Alamarain. Dive into Quark's notorious game, Chula, now on the Cerritos. Join Mariner, Rutherford, in a high-stakes adventure where every move counts. Win, and you'll secure Captain Giorgio for your crew. Also in the Lower Decks game, join A Little Hollow Day for a chance to win Gaul Merced. Dive into the holographic adventure like no other, command the festivities, and claim Gaul Merced as your prize. Are you ready to master the holiday chaos and add a new ally to your crew? Star Trek Online has released their new T6 Dyson bundle. This bundle will cost 10,000 Zen, but from now till May 16th, it will only be 7,500, as there is a 25% sale currently. You can also purchase these ships separately instead of in the bundle. The bundle contains the three Dyson ships, one T6 ship coupon, eight experimental ship upgrade tokens, four ship slots, the Solene Sentinel environmental suit, the Dyson Sphere research outfit, and the title Science destroyer thank you so much to our patreon supporters for helping to make all these priority one armada shows and streams possible well that's it for this week's trekking out the news don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below with your thoughts follow us on twitter at p1 armada and check out our website www.priorityonearmada.com for more information on our star trek online in game fleets and join us every saturday for the priority one armada live stream where we go more in depth on this week's star trek online news and take you the viewers on an away mission to earn in-game loot viewers can also win loot by entering our giveaways during each live stream. There's every Saturday at 9pm US Eastern on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. We host a range of other streams throughout the week focusing on different Trek games and news. If you want to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss out on all the latest Star Trek Online news. That's it from me. Live long and prosper.